Good evening, everybody. I'm Fred Beck, and I approve this sportscast. Let's start with the annual La Plata basketball tournament. It's the Atlanta boys and Canton Atlanta in blue. Great drive by Tristan Collier. However, Canton would hit the gas pedal. As Coy Smith says, no need to be coy, Roy. Great drive as he takes it all the way. Garrett West goes north and south better than anybody. He misses. He stays with it and puts it in. But it was all Canton tonight. The final was 69 to 36. In girls' action is Canton and La Plata. Atlanta in blue. Cheyenne Clamert will connect. That cuts the lead to 4, 31, 37. But the Canton inside game was just too much. It's Allison Phillips, not once, but twice. Canton wins it big, 65 to 35. In other girls games, Marion County surprised Scotland County. That was in boys play, 37-33. In girls action, Scotland County stopped Marion County, 74-28. It was Fairfield, 71, Albia, 30. The Schuyler County girls will meet Green City tomorrow at La Plata. The Rams are confident. We've really fared pretty well in the La Plata tournament over the last few years that I've been here. Uh, our nemesis in, in that tournament seems to be Cairo. They're a really tough, uh, you know, state-ranked Class Two team. Uh, but there's there's some decent teams that I have to go through to even get to see that team. Both Kirksill basketball teams will be home tomorrow to face Booneville. The boys won the first game between the schools 11 days ago. The Tigers realize they'll have to work hard at both ends of the court to sweep the series. And we can't expect necessarily everything to happen the way it did last game. And uh, if we can get out of that mode and creating the, the, you know, the pressure in the system we want to play, if we do that again, I think we'll be okay. Um, but we can't just assume that's going to happen. Both Truman State basketball teams played good on the road this weekend. The men won both games while the women got a split. We played really, really good in the second halves down the stretch, um, particularly the last eight, ten minutes are kind of when we made our runs. And uh, it was good to see toughness on the road, guys sticking with it and just continuing to play through some adversity and being able to finish off those games. You know, I, I was happy with the split. Um, you know, I, I think going into the jury game, you know, as I told our kids, jury is been in that position many, many times. I mean, they were put in that position Thursday. And this was the first time in our program at this point of the season that we were in first place and playing against a team that's, you know, been there before. So uh, I think it was a good learning experience for us.